Hi guys, this is Chu here from Pro Drones. So if you've been up to date, today is the 25th of May, uh, 2023. And if you've been following the DJI products, uh, you'll know that the M350 has been launched. Uh, together with the launch of the M350, there is also the firmware uh, release for the M300. Uh, essentially, the M350 is a M300 RTK facelift. Uh, there have been improvements on the physical side, but as well as on the software side. And some of these software improvements have propagated down to the M300 RTK. Uh, you can see it here. So if you go to the M300 RTK downloads and um, we come down to here, so you'll see there's a bunch of firmwares here. Uh, the one to note would be the this one, the M300 RTK UAV DJI Pilot Offline Firmware Update V0700010. Okay. Another one would be the M300 RTK UAV Offline Firmware Update Support RC Plus. V5700010 uh, and the M300 RTK RC DJI Pilot Offline Firmware Update RC Plus uh, V0102040 Okay, uh, so let me try to explain um, what's going on here. Now if you open the release notes, you'll see that there'll be two uh, columns for firmware, right? So you'll see uh, on the left there is one that has the V07000100, and on the right you have the V57000100. So one of the major changes with the new update for the M300 is that now you can use the DJI RC Plus. So for any of those who have a M30 and you want to try out what it's like, uh, you will have two versions of firmware. So if you look in the release notes, uh, you'll see there are two columns of firmware. Um, the most important part actually is for the aircraft firmware, so V07000100. And you'll note that it says for the DJI Smart Controller Enterprise and V57000100 for the DJI RC+. Plus. So what's happening now is that uh, if you're using the M300 with the original M300 remote, uh, you will be using this firmware 0700100. If you intend to try it out, uh, what the M300 feels like with the M30 remote, uh, you will need to first update the M30 remote to this version of firmware, and then use the DJI Assistant 2 and perform an offline update to this version. All right. So that you will download from here, this firmware. All right. To fully understand uh, what that means, you would have to open this document. So under manuals, there is the M300 and 350RTK compatible firmware update guide. Now, if you open that document, um, you will see a series of tables. So, uh, like I said, the M300 RTK, if you want to use it with the RC+, Plus, you would have to use the DJI Assistant 2 and perform an offline update. Once you perform this update, uh, you can then link the M300 RTK with the RC+, Plus and use it as if it were uh, as usual. The only difference would be is that um, there will be some payloads that won't work for example, if you have uh, older payloads like the uh, XTS Z30, uh, that would no longer work. So uh, in the downloads, there's also the accessory compatibility list. If you open that, you will see uh, with that uh, what works, what doesn't work. So if you have the M300 with the RC+, Plus, there would be some older payloads like the Z30, XT2 and XTS, they would be not supported. So you can refer to this chart for the camera compatibility. So once you've performed the M300 RTK plus RC plus update, which is this column, and you've got everything up to version, uh, 
you can't use the smart controller again until you downgrade the firmware to back aircraft sorry until you downgrade the uh, aircraft firmware back down to 0700100 and you'll need to do that using the uh, assistant tool for enterprise okay so this is just to take note and be very careful uh, the updates for the cameras and payloads uh, are different depending on the remote. So let's just say you have upgraded the aircraft to run an RC plus. You can only upgrade the payload, which uh, let's say if it's a H20 or H20 T or H20N, only via SD card update. That would mean download the firmware, uh, put it on the SD card, put it in the camera, and then turn it on and wait for the beeps to change. Okay. If you're using the original remote, then you can use the uh, app, the Pilot 2 app, to just do the update. Uh, what we do recommend would be to actually use the uh, SD card to update since it's compatible for all of it. Uh, that uh, The instructions to do that is uh, available online, but basically what you'll need to do is just uh, download the firmware for the payload, which would be here. Send news H20 firmware, uh, offline firmware update. And then um, copy this file into the uh, SD card, put it into the camera, mount it on the drone, and turn it on. It will start beeping in a particular manner uh, when, when it detects the file and start performing the update. The beeps will then change, uh, signifying that the sorry, signifying that the uh, update process has completed. All right, so uh, let's say you've already connected to the uh, M300 to the uh, laptop. Uh, you turn on Assistant, right? load the app. And if you connect the USB-C connector to your laptop, it will then appear like this. Right. So you'll see the M300 RTK pop up. And under the... Uh, so you have a column here for the aircraft firmware. And you can see it says here 0701. That's what was updated already. All right. But if you want to change the firmware to the one that uses the RC Plus or from the one that's RC Plus back to this one, what you'll do is click on Offline Upgrade. Select the firmware package, right? Whether it's this one to 07 or this one, the 570001, and then you open it and then you just click start the upgrade and then you'll switch over to the other firmware, right? Uh, just wait for a while. Uh, once it's done and successful, then you'll be able to test the remote. Hi right, guys, so just to show you, you can see the this uh, new Smart RC Plus is linked to the M300 over here. So as you can see, So I hope this helps you if you want to try it out, the M300 with the new RC+. Plus. Uh, if you have any issues or questions, uh, you can email us or you can drop a message below, direct comment below. Uh, if you have any questions as well as uh, any inquiries, again, regarding whether it's the M300 uh, or the M350, we don't have it yet as of this moment. Uh, when we do, we will release a video uh, about it. Okay. Um, also, to take note, we have uh, some clearance sales for some of our items. We will put that on our Facebook page. Uh, you can see if anything there interests you. You can just send us a message. 
and for uh, for pricing uh, basically we do have some new old stock uh, to clear so just if you are looking for any payloads or aircraft or accessories you know um, yeah just let us know see if anything in the list strikes your interest and then just let us know yeah maybe you can pick something up uh, for a very good deal especially if you do have over older aircraft in service particularly m200 and you just need to add payloads to it to get certain jobs done yeah we still do have stock for some of them right uh, if you like what you saw please like and subscribe and as always thank you and fly safe